everyone! So in today's video, I'm gonna do an annual review of my 2022 year, basically just things that have happened and how I felt about the year. I really like to do these because I find that sometimes when you're trying to improve something or anything like that, uh, if you just kind of sit back and think about it, like so, um, <laughs> it can feel like not much has happened, which is what I really felt about my 2022 year. But when I properly sat down and wrote out and took a look at every single month and what happened, I realized that a lot more has happened. So for example, between January at 2022 and April 2022, um, I dated a con artist, which is really a story for another day. And I was also in my last term of school. Huge, huge deal for me because I've been in school for maybe almost a decade. And I, okay, I wasn't really in school the entire time, but at least seven years of that, I 100% was in school. And so, um, and I failed in my last year in 2020. So it was a huge deal for me to go back after 2021 to just finish off my degree and let myself know that I could do this and I wasn't as like incompetent as I thought I was. But the dating the con artist thing really kind of threw a wrench into all that in terms of how I got to celebrate and things. So I feel like maybe that's a part of why I didn't feel like much happened in 2022. Even though for me at the beginning of 2022, I gave myself two goals, all right? To finish school finally and to get my driver's license. And you know what? I did the first one. I didn't do the second one, but I did the first one. And I told myself that if I did at least one of these two things, I would be really happy with my year. So I'm really happy to have looked back on that and have reminded myself this. Um, another thing that happened was I moved, which I'd been living uh, somewhere else during COVID for about a year and a half. So that took a lot of my time. It's a completely new space, new environment. I also... Uh, what else happened? It was my birthday. I got a new job, which is also big because I've been working at the same job for the last three years or so. And I got that through my friend as well. Um, I don't know why I said as well, because I don't think I said as well to anything else. Whatever. Uh, another thing that happened is that I joined a volleyball league, which is super fun. And joining the volleyball league was kind of important to me because I suck at volleyball. Like, I'm good at some sports, but volleyball really wasn't one of them in the beginning. And I felt really nervous because a lot of people on the team knew how to play volleyball really well, but I stuck through it. And another important part was that I just felt like there's a certain point in time where a lot of times when I'm learning something new, if I feel like I suck, I kind of just try to step back. But for volleyball, I actually really wanted to improve. And so I showed up every single time and I really feel like I got better. So that was awesome. And I also went on a two week trip to Europe, which was so much fun. I did not have a travel bug really until I landed in Europe. And after my trip ended, I, ha <laughs> I currently have no idea where I'm going right now. But I literally just want to take one train, one train stop and I'd be happy. So let's go. I can't wait to start planning another trip, honestly. I feel like this is just a way longer ramble, but you know, YouTube is another one of those things that I told myself that I really wanted to get into since maybe 2020, 2021, and for 2022, and I didn't do it. In fact, I feel like I did more videos about just saying how much I wanted to do it or that I was willing to come back and not doing it. So I'm just happy to start recording again and, you know, I feel like there's a lot of times when you're going to suck in the beginning of doing things. And the one thing that I do like about making these videos, even if I just say I'm planning on coming back, is just being able to look back afterwards and seeing, like, how many times have I said I'm going to come back and start this and restart but not do it or wait until I see, wait, wait until I actually just, like, quit quit trying at all um, but that's what these reviews and things are for you know to look back at your previous month your previous year and see like how much have you done and I think that's actually a huge part of why I felt like 2022 was a bit meh because you know when I look back at my 2021 year which I thought was really awesome I realized that there are two major um, reasons why and one of them is because in 2021 I did a lot more content creation I did significantly more TikTok videos and 
I didn't do that many YouTube videos, but I at least made way more than I did in 2022. Whereas in 2022, I, I feel like I stopped. Like I just stopped making any kind of content really. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because I felt like I didn't know what else to say or I didn't know how to push myself and be disciplined enough to continue with it. But I recognize that a part of what made me feel better regardless of how I feel about the actual content itself is being able to create content. And so that's why I thought doing an annual review and just trying to restart on YouTube would be kind of a fun deal. The other major thing is that, you know, in 2021, the COVID restrictions were a lot stricter. And so working graveyards and being in school, I was a lot more confined to my own space, even though I live with friends, which is really nice, but I didn't necessarily go and see as many friends. Whereas, especially in the last kind of quarter of 2022, I started seeing a lot more of my friends and I recognized that I've sort of fallen back into similar habits from my pre-COVID days, which is I just spent so much of my life kind of seeing so many people, which is in some sense is nice, but in some ways I didn't feel like I was really creating deep connections with people and I was just living my life as it went by rather than really choosing to actively say, hey, this is who I want to spend my time with. Hey, this is how I want to spend my time. And so... Even though looking back at 2022 and thinking like, yeah, like some of these things are really great, like finishing school um, and my new job. Um, and I feel kind of bad about being like, oh, how did I let myself kind of just like fall back to old habits? It's nice to be able to look back at it all and say, OK, well, you know what? This is a brand new year and this is what happened. So how do we want how do we want to move forward with this information? So yeah, I guess this is really what my annual review kind of looked like for me. Okay, so with that being all said and done, my 2023 goals this year are to one, finish my portfolio, get a job at an architecture firm, pay off my student debts. Well, I mean, I just finished school last year, so I don't mind if it doesn't get all paid off this year. Get my driver's license. Ah and actually start creating content more, whether that's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, get into a consistent phase of that. Will I really do that? I don't know, but I feel like you really have to believe in yourself. So I'm like, uh, uh, good juju, good juju. You can do it, you can do it. You're disciplined, uh, uh, uh. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of just telling myself that as long as I'm moving forward and doing one thing every time, like change takes time and so I'm happy to be recording this and documenting these so I can slowly see how much progress I've made um and yeah and is there anything else I really want to do for 2023 uh oh yeah create a good system for actually documenting what I've done because a lot of times maybe I've recorded things or have like mildly improved in some things but because I didn't have a proper system for how to uh, quantify those I didn't really get to see it in the same way that I've been documenting how I've been spending my time so that's a really important one for 2023 so we'll see how much of this gets done I'll do a 2023 end of year video I'm really excited for this I'm hoping that this video also makes me want to kind of show like my own progress report so we'll see how that looks all right I hope everyone has a happy 2023 year Mwah. I know this video is coming late too but you know you gotta do what you gotta do Bye. I like to ask myself a couple questions as well. I didn't really plan this far into this video. Um, <laughs> um, but I think a part of me is kind of scared that if I think too much about it, then I won't continue on with it. So a reminder at me, it's okay. You can just keep recording. Like you're gonna... Bleh. What else do I want to say?